Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about Ariana's Vow and Opolis. Which weapons will be best for the Barrier Champions, especially for the next season? Is Ariana's Vow still powerful since Opolis now has a catalyst dealing with Barrier Champions? Is Opolis the better weapon than Ariana's Vow? Both of the weapons use special ammo. Both of the weapons can stagger barrier champions. Let's first talk about Obelisk. The first one is called Genesis, where breaking any component shield with this weapon fills this magazine from reserves. So in other words, when you do break the barrier shield on barrier champions, the magazine of Obelisk will refill. So when you are getting the Catalyst, you will have an additional ammo of 6 instead of 5. The other perk called is the Disruption Break. Now this one's very unique because as well as breaking the shield for any elemental, arc, solar, stasis if there is one, and void, when you do break it, you'll get additional 50% damage for a couple of seconds. And as well, you can get additional damage for staggering barrier champions. Now let's talk about Ariana's Vow. Ariana's Vow was first introduced during the Shadow Keep season. So Ariana's Vow is basically like a mini sniper, but a hand cannon. Now it has this interesting perk, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows, with the death at first glance. Where bonus damage when aiming down sights on the opening shot of an attack. So basically, that means that you can do bonus damage when you are aiming at a barrier champion when it's about to break a shield and you can actually one-shot it. The bonus is also preserved if you do precision shots. One of the most famous is More to Give, where it does increase the magazine in holstering with the weapon. So when you do switch to a different weapon, let's just say a linear fusion, for example, where you break the barrier champion. Then you switch to your linear fusion rifle to do DPS damage or a rocket or machine gun. Then your Ariana's Val will automatically reload on itself. Then you can go back to Ariana's Val to break the barrier shield. I do recommend to have the catalyst, especially when dealing champions, because if you don't have the catalyst, the reload for Ariana's Val is completely slow very slow and it's really really hard to deal with champions especially when you have to reload and then it's a possibility that they can two shot you especially on a grandmaster mode let's start with ariana's vow now for this season ariana's vow seems a bit seems a bit a bit buggy with only high barrier champions I will try to do precision shots on the barrier champion when it pops a shield, but it doesn't seem to work properly. So on master, when staggering a barrier champion with Ariana's Val, it takes about one precision shot. Now for a body shot, it will take around two shots, but for for precision shots, it would be one. Now, like I said, for this season, Ariana's Val is kind of off. You know, I was doing some mini research and I was looking at my old videos, you know, etc. of me using Ariana's Val on my PlayStation. And it was working before and now it's a bit off. So only for Hive Barrier Champions, I will say that, that it is bugged. And I wouldn't recommend using Ariana's Val on a Nightfall that is all Hive until they fix it. If they do fix it, then highly recommend, but as of now for this season, which hopefully they'll fix it for the next one, Ariana's Val seems to be very shy with high barrier champions, so you can see. For far distance, still body shot, and then try again. It's always two shots, but it's supposed to be one shot for Ariana's Val. So, if you are curious of why Ariana's Val is not doing precision shots on the high barriers, well, this is the answer. It's a bit off, a bit bugged. 
at the moment. When you do have the first glance, you can keep shooting persistent shots to get bonus damage with Ariana's Vow. Now, I was trying to do that, but even when I do try to do headshots, critical hits with the Ariana's Vow, still doesn't seem to be working properly with the high barrier. With the high barrier knights. So I was trying again, and it seems that if I, if it was working, you know, properly, and if Ariana's wasn't shy with these high barrier champions, even from far distance, you can actually do one shot on master version. So in this footage, I try to go a little close up, dealing with the barrier champion. Maybe I'm not, maybe Ariana's Val needs to be a little bit more close up with this minor bug but the sad thing is it didn't work the most oddest thing i would say for ariana's vow is if you play proving grounds and deal with the cabal bear champions then ariana's vow seems to be working properly where you can do persistent shots over and over and then get bonus damage so it's a bit off but ariana's vow is supposed to be one shot especially when doing critical shots on champions so yeah when doing body shots it takes around two shots to break the barrier champion for the cabal and as so with the high barrier champion same thing goes with the servitor and for the vex barrier champion so ariana's vow is working well for master version but for the high barrier, there's just some minor bug. So if planning to play Scarlet Keep, but with the high barrier champions, it just doesn't seem to be working at the moment for this season. Hopefully they'll get it fixed soon. Let's take a look at Obelisk. Now Obelisk is the new barrier weapon where you can stagger champions. And this is the master version where you can actually one-shot the barrier champion with body shot or precision shot. It seems that Obelisk is much stronger than Ariana's Val, even hitting the barrier champion with the body shot. You can still one-shot the champion. Now I was testing this on the master version with the baby servitor, I mean barrier champion, where you can still do one-shot on body or precision shot. So you can see that it seems to be, you can see it's working pretty well with Obelisk. Even doing DPS damage, close up with Obelisk can do a lot of damage. If Obelisk can one shot or body shot champions, then imagine what it can do for the Grandmaster version. Now, I did another test from far distance with the with the obelisk and it seems to be one shotting the servitor one shot from far distance even when even using ariana's vow sometimes you can't really one shot with the precision on servitors sometimes it would be around two shots especially from far away overall for the master version for the ariana's vow and obelisk obelisk seems to be much more stronger than ariana's vow for this season Ariana's Val seems to be very powerful, especially when you do precision shots on the barrier champions. Now, the downside for this season of using Ariana's Val is the high barrier champions. They seem to be not working very well, especially when you try to headshot them. Obelisk, it doesn't really matter at all. You can one-shot them on body shot or headshot. Even from distance, the Ariana's Val would take a couple of shots and it can be a bit tough of trying to do DPS from very champion from far distance. Ariana's Val for the master version, you can you can also get the bonus damage only when you are doing persistent shots on the barrier champion with Ariana's Val. If you are planning to do body shots with Ariana's Val, It'll take around two. Now for Obelisk, when you do break the shield for Obelisk, your magazine will refill. But for Ariana's Val, 
you will have to switch to a different weapon like a machine gun, linear, to do DPS at the champion, and then switch back to Ariana's Val when the barrier is about to pop its barrier shield. Let's talk about the Grandmaster version with the Obelisk and Ariana's Val. I was trying to use Ariana's Val on the Grandmaster version with the high barrier. So I was having some trouble doing precision shots at the barrier champion, the Hive one. It looks like even for the Grandmaster version, I can't seem to get a precision shot at the barrier champion at all and only can do body. So for the body shot, I guess, since Ariana's Val doesn't seem to be working well with the high barrier, it takes about 3 shots to break the barrier champion. Now, if Ariana's Val was able to do, you know, precision shots, right, then it would take around 2. I do advise to be super careful dealing with the Hive barrier champions when using Ariana's Val because it's not working 100% well for this season. Other seasons it was working well but not for Season of the Lost. Because I'm a good person and I just want to try, I try to go up close to this high barrier champion with Ariana's Val just, just to confirm that Ariana's Val just seems to be very shy with high barrier champions only for this season. I was trying to do headshots, just doesn't seem to be working, and I cause a death. Which is all right, I did it for the Guardians, just to confirm. Same thing happened in Master Version, and now it's gonna happen again, where Ariana's Val is working properly, right? It's actually cooperating with the Cabal Barrier Champion, so here's a confirmation. When using Ariana's Val, it takes about two precision shots to break the Barrier Champion shield and three body shots to break the shield as well with Ariana's Val. Now if you want to, now you can also break the Barrier Champion shield for the Grandmaster one shot. To break the shield one shot on Grandmaster version with Ariana's Val, you have to shoot the champion when it's about to pop its shield. I wouldn't really recommend it or rely it too much. To be honest, because as you guys know, you have to switch to your heavy weapon to do DPS. But Ariana's Val is very unique as well, since they have buff Ariana's Val compared to the previous Grandmaster seasons, where you will have to use around four, four to three precision shots to deal with the barrier champions. Now let's talk about the shields. Now, can Ariana's break any elemental shield besides solar? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So around six shots to break a arc void or maybe stasis if they do have one, which they have mentioned they were supposed to have a stasis shield for Ariana's vow. So just remember, when using Ariana's Val to break the shield, it takes around 6 for the Grandmaster version. And let's take a look at Obelisk. So for the Grandmaster version, the Obelisk can one-shot the barrier champions on precision shots and body shots. For the Grandmaster version, you are underleveled around 25 and Obelisk just seems to be very powerful dealing with it with Disruption Break and with the Genesis to reload to refill your magazine. And there's really no worry to reload Obelisk when dealing with Barrier Champions for the Grandmaster version. So even Body Shot you can one shot and then if you try to headshot you can still, you can still do the one shot DPS on Barrier Champions. Now this seems to also work with the high barrier champions and and for the servitor, etc. Obelisk also seems to one-shot any elemental shield on the Grandmaster version, where Ariana's Val, it took around six shots and 
you can see that obelisk can take any elemental shield solar arc void maybe stasis if it's available overall with the obelisk and ariana's vow Opolis still seems to be more stronger than Ariana's Foul, even under level for the Grandmaster version. It breaking an elemental shield that is not matched, especially for Ariana's Foul, Opolis takes around one shot on any elemental shield, such as Arc, Solar, and Void, and I guess Stasis as well. Ariana's Foul for the Grandmaster version, it takes around six shots to break any elemental shield. Once you do break an elemental shield from a major captain or a major knight, etc., or a wizard, you only have three ammo to do DPS at the wizard or the knight or any major mini boss. Where for Obelisk, he only takes about one shot, and with the perk disruption break, you can do additional damage around 50% for a couple of seconds to deal with the knight or the wizard or a major mini boss. Not only you can break any elemental shield with the obelisk, you can also refill your magazine as well and do more DPS. Where Ariana's Val, you will have to switch to a DPS weapon or you could just reload which takes forever. The only difference I see is the perks they have for each of the exotic, especially for the catalyst. Both gets additional ammo. For Ariana's Val, it's three. Our obelisk is plus one. Both have different perks with a glance perk for Ariana's Val with bonus damage with every precision shot. And with the obelisk with Genesis when breaking the shield it refills your magazine. You can just keep doing more DPS on barrier champions. If you do love using hand cannons, then I recommend using Ariana's Val. You can do fun builds like the lucky pants for the hunter. Or if you do really love linear fusion rifles, and you're pretty much fed up with using hand cannon like me, then I would recommend using Opolis. So which weapons would be better for underleveled? It really depends on your playstyle, but as for me, I would prefer to use Opolis over Ariana's Val because Obelisk can break any elemental shield, even under leveled. If you think about it really hard, especially for a legendary campaign for the next season for the Witch Queen, Obelisk can break any elemental shield, especially when you are under leveled. So, Obelisk just seems the most safest strat to deal with under leveled activities. This is just my own opinion, and I did say back in the day, last year I said that Obelisk will be the meta for champions, and I was right. Obelisk seems to be more stronger than Ariana's Val. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!